Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Celtic career mode. It's the 10th anniversary for the first time I think ever on my channel. I have made it to the 10th episode of a series. God knows how we've made it this far, but we have. We're on episode 10. We are just off the back of that emphatic 5-0 win against Rangers. Look at this. There, there's there. Uh, what a win that was. And today we've got four more games to play through. Including our first cup match, which is against Ross County. So we want to get through to the, the next round of the Scottish Cup. We want to go and win the Scottish Cup. We're in it to win it. Uh, so a couple of games we've got to play today. The first game we're going to play is Dundee. And then we'll play Ross County in the Cup. Which will then lead us up to the next episode yet. Where we will um, play PSG in the last 16 of the Champions League. So uh, that's in the future. But today we're focusing on our cup run. Now... In the last episode, obviously, we went through a hefty amount of changes at the club. If we go to our, if I can find it, here we go, uh, transfer uh, negotiations, we signed a lot of players in the last episode. So, we signed St. Just here. Uh, we also signed Callum Patterson uh, and Jordan Larson. And we're also signing Robert Snodgrass at the end of the season, if you didn't see the last episode. Yep, Robert Snodgrass will be joining uh, next season when we move into that, we got him in a pre-contract, which is good. But because of that, you know, we need to think about selling some players, you know. There's so many players at the club now, and some we don't need, some won't be getting their chances. First person that comes to my mind, when we're talking about people who are not going to get a chance, this man here, Mikael Lustig, he's been at Celtic for, for years, you know, he's, he's been a great player, but he's ageing. He's 30 year old, he's not too great, he's quite slow, he's, he's not as fast as I want my fullbacks to be. So, sadly, yeah, we're going to have to add Mikael Lustig to the transfer list. It's a sad day indeed, but um, he's just not needed. So, there's no point keeping him here wasting away. Uh, we'll send him out to get some good football. Also, someone we don't need at the current moment, but we might need soon because we'll be losing Marcus Rashford at the end of the season, is uh, Nadir Chiefji. So, we're going to try and loan him out for the rest of the season. Hopefully someone will want to take him as I feel like Jordan Larson earned himself a place as the kind of the main backup striker uh, after his fantastic performance against Rangers, getting the goal on his debut. So we're going to try and get rid of those two uh, and hopefully the new players gel into the team. They do well. We've got some of them on training and as you can see, here's our strongest team. Um, not None of the new signings make it into the strongest team that I look at it, but if you look on the bench, I have involved St. Just here. Uh, and we've also got... Who, who else was it we signed? I forgot. <laughs> uh, we signed Patterson and Larson. Patterson will be taking Lustig's place on the bench. And Larson, we're still going to see what we're going to do with, but uh, he probably will be pretty good. But uh, enough talking. We're going to get into the first game of the episode, which is against uh, Dundee, I believe. Uh, and hopefully it's quite a quick episode. A lot of them have been dragging on recently. So we'll try and get as much done as possible. So we're off to Dens Park away from home against Dundee. Get the fucking streamers out, lads. F.A. Ambrose is leaving the club uh, at the end of the season. We're trying to sell him. No one wanted to buy him, understandably. Um, but uh, on a pre-contract, Blackburn have signed him. So at the end of the season, we'll be losing F.A. Ambrose. In all seriousness, it, it, it could have been used. It might have been quite good, but I had no intention of using him. In real life, he's quite prone to make mistakes. I think he's getting a bit more abuse from me than he deserves, but I'm not a fan of the guy. Uh, so F.A. Ambrose will be leaving. So something a bit different today. This is the team we're playing. As you can see, a formation we've never used in the career mode so far. But there is uh, the, quite a few amount of tired players. Especially in the wings. Uh, our only two wingers, really, actually. Uh, Roberts and Sinclair are both injured. We'll need to look in the future. Next season, definitely getting backups for those two because we've not got enough depth, not enough depth on the wings. Uh, so today we're playing a very narrow formation. Uh, hopefully we can get a good result though. And, uh, so here we are at Dens Park, guys. We're away from home playing Dundee. Uh, obviously the only side from Dundee in the Scottish Premiership now. Obviously Dundee United relegated last season, if you didn't know. So we are playing the only side left in Dundee uh, here today. Here we go, this is nice. It's glitchy and actual. Pass it off for Goretzka. Dembele plays it inside. Surely a goal from this, it is a goal. Dembele with a bad pass going to the Dundee player. But I believe it was, yep, it was. Tom Rogic still gets to it after a bad interception. I mean, it was a poor pass from Dembele. So it went right to the Dundee defender. But they didn't manage to clear it. As you can see here, look at that. A horrible attempt at an interception. And it goes right through to Tom Rogic. Who, no doubt, puts it in the back of the net from that range. It's too easy at uh, Dens Park. It's Dundee now. Celtic won. 
That's a good header. Oh, not far for Dundee there. That was a really good header from, I believe, it was um, Paul McGowan. That's just nice from here, Nacho, to Dembele. Dembele keeps hold of it somehow. Can we keep it in here? We can. It's a ball in and it's 2-0. Foster Mens have decided to keep it in and not let it go out for the corner. And it turns out to be a good decision because he and Nacho are the end of the cross to head it. In the back of the net, it's done D now. Celtic to a great header from here, Nacho, and a nice bit of play from Timothy Foster Mens. As you can see here, look at that. He keeps it in with that first time cross, and it's a great link up play to he and Nacho, and it's so easy for him. He puts it in the back of the net, 2-0. Oh, a chance here for Dundee. Oh, Christ. It's went right through. Can we clear it? Goretzka manages to get it away to Fossil Mensa. Not the best of clearances, though. We do get it away finally. Scott Brown takes it. That's a great ball for Dembele. Can Dembele go through with this? He can. It's surely going to be free. It should be free. Oh, he's at the post for the second time in the game. He hits the woodwork. So oh, Christ. Oh, what a tackle there from Eric Sevierchenko. He's done well to keep that in the park as well. Great from Eric Sviatchenko there. That's great. That's great there. Kalicha here, Nacho. Dembele's down there. It's a great ball. Dembele surely finally gets the goal he deserves. It hits the one. Uh, the, the one <laughs> it hits the woodwork once again. But this time it hits the woodwork and goes into the back of the net. It's 3 0. Miss it. Oh, he's done well there. He's beat his man. He and Nacho is cut inside, surely for a fourth. It's 4 0. It's another great goal from us and another great goal from Kalecha. He and Nacho. 4 0. We're playing fantastic. Look at that. He cuts inside well and it's a, a great finish. The finesse shot going up the top corner. It's 4 0. Oh, Christ, we've let them go through. It's Paul McGowan, a former Celtic player. He slips it inside in a great tackle from, I believe, Christian Gamboa to prevent Dundee from getting on the end of that pass. And it's still 4-0. Could have been 4-1. Dundee maybe with one last chance in the 90th minute here. They have got an opportunity. Dundee, a great save from Scuffy. Can they get into the rebound? No, we get it away. Brown can't get it too far and the final whistle goes anyway. Doesn't matter. 4-0 win for us at Dens Park. It was all too easy. Not a bad international offer here to manage. Uh, no, but you're on a dial, that is Colin, but sadly, I'm not going to be taking that job. But it looks as though the international jobs are improving. Hopefully we get something good soon. So it's time for deadline day. We're quickly going to run through this. So we'll finish up our last transfer window. Uh, of the season, well, I've done all our business and we spent six million during the winter. Not too bad, making three signings. Uh, well, it says four there, but one obviously not arriving till next season. We got rid of Commons and Ambrose on pre contracts as well. They won't be with us next season, but we've still got them till the end of this season. So we're going to quickly go through deadline day. Hopefully, we can get rid of the players I said I was trying to get rid of, which was uh, Lustig and Chief G. I doubt anybody's going to come in for them because they're not exactly on hot form. No one's going to want them. But well, I've got six hours just about now to do so. Uh, so hopefully someone will come in for them. Not looking like anybody will though. Uh, let's go, come on. Five hours. Somebody just come in for Lustig. He's a decent right back. Come on. I mean, Chief G on loan, I don't see it's unrealistic. I could see people wanting... Oh, wait, we've got an email. We've got an email. We've got an email. Right, who's his email on us? Transfer offers. <laughs> no, that's a lot of money though. Shit ton of money. 17 and a half <coughs> million. For Kulicu and Nacho. Uh, sadly, I'm not going to be taking that though. Uh, but that's a lot of money. That is, That would be the biggest fee received in Celtic history. We paid about uh, 8 million plus Lee Griffiths for him. But I'm not looking to sell him yet. Maybe in the future because we could get more money. And finally we will get rid of Nadir Chiefji. He's off to Lens until the end of the season in France I think it is. I'm not sure. It might not be France. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But it should be France. So that is Chief G gone. There's only one more player I want to get rid of. And uh, that is Mikael Lustig. I don't know if we will get rid of him with two hours left. We're not going to get rid of him. Let's just deal with that. So Lustig will be with us until the end of the season. But not bad. I think we've done okay in January with our transfers. So now time for the last game we're going to play in this episode. And it is the first cup game of the season. It is our... Uh, I'll kick off to the Scottish Cup campaign. Hopefully we will go and win the Scottish Cup. 
As you will see here, the team is completely different. I've decided to give a full rotation out on the pitch. The only players that usually start on the field are Tierney, Brown, Rashford and Sinclair. The rest are all players coming in for this game to see what we can do. It's not a huge game. We should still be winning. And you'll notice at right, uh, centre-back, uh, sorry, we've got this player called Ewan Nicholson, 53 rated. Uh, he is Scottish. He is someone from the Youth Academy who has 92 potential, apparently. So we're going to try and use him along uh, the road of the series. Who knows, he might turn out to be a club legend. He might be the next Billy McNeil. He might be the next, uh, well, it's not right back, so he can't be Tan Danny McGrain. But you know what? He could be the next Celtic legend. But let's get in this match against Ross County. So we're in Dingwall. I believe the stadium is called Victoria Park. Maybe wrong. I don't think I'm out. I think I'm right. But we're in Dingwall, the furthest we can be out of all the Scottish Premiership teams. It's the furthest north you can go in this league. Uh, so we're ready to play them here in our first match of the Cup. A complete rotation but we still should be getting the win and proceeding to, I believe, what will be the last 16 of the Scottish Cup. Good, not a good first impression from Callum Patterson and Ross County are away here. Craig Gordon's having to rush out his net. <sighs> Ross County were not far away there. Could have been a goal from one mistake there. So, see Sinclair on the wing. Oh, it's cheeky from Sinclair. They've done well. Just no one there to meet the, the ball in the box. A ball back in, though. No! It's a good save from the Ross County keeper. Not a bad chance created from a header in the box from Sinclair. Oh Christ. Oh no, Ross County. Are, oh, so fuck that. You <laughs> should have been a goal there for Ross County. We really have not started off too great. That's a good ball from Brown to Rashford who can't keep a hold of it. Jesus Christ, Marcus, come on. Oh. Oh. Jeez, oh, Cal. Patterson not with the greatest of clearances. He's took the man out. A horrible tackle from Callum Patterson. And it's a penalty to Ross County. Half an hour into the match, a yellow card coming out. And can we just have a look at this? One more. Oh, no, I've skipped it. Oh, well, penalty Ross County. Not good at all. Craig Gordon, come on, Sunday. I'm, go I'm going bottom, bottom right. We're going bottom right. I think he's going bottom right. Bottom right, come on. Oh, it's went through Gordon. It's went underneath Gordon. Oh, you're joking. We went the right way and it's went underneath Craig Gordon. Poor show. Poor, poor show, Craig. Come on. Oh, we're down 1-0 to Ross County in the Cup. We cannot go out the Scottish Cup at this stage. We can't go out at any stage. Nothing's excusable. And, oh, that is shocking. Look at this. It goes right under Craig Gordon. Oh, you're joking, right? We need to do, we need to do something here. Brown, through to Rashford, surely it's 1-0 here, Rashford, there is 1-0, go up to that camera, no, do you know don't go to the camera, okay, we're at the camera, Marcus Rashford, 1-0, we're back in the game, we should have never been down 1-0, but I'll accept the fact we've pulled it back, oh, who's injured, oh, you're joking, Kieran Tierney is injured, just what we need, just what we're needing. Kieran Tierney has gone down injured. One of the star players in this team. I hope it's not a bad injury. Rashford sees James Forrest running. Forrest's got a little bit of pace to his name. It's James Forrest. Can he swing it in for a second goal? Can Rashford meet it? No, he can't. He fucking jumps like a donkey trying to get to it. We've got it back here. Timothy Foster Mensa. Scott Brown. Surely he'll shoot. He will take a shot. Over the bar from Brown. Somebody the man to do it. John Larson! Not too far. It was a weird shot. It wasn't the, the greatest of connections. But look at this. It was it was swerving. It went quite a bit over. To avoid any of them. Let's go and kill it in the 90th minute. It might be a wee shame for Ross County. We play it in. John Larson. Oh, we shouldn't have shot that. We really shouldn't have. Oh, Christ. They're going to go and win it in the 90th minute. Tackle him. Just kill him. Oh, we've injured him. Oh, it's full time. I don't know if this is extra time or a second leg here. We're about to find out. Oh, we've got a second leg at Parkhead, lads. Sorry, not a second leg, a replay. Uh, so, bad news about Kieran Tierney. Four weeks. The lad is out for my controller's just disconnected. Uh, four weeks we're going to be missing Kieran Tierney, and we've got the replay already in the Scottish Cup. This is the first round we're getting a replay. I'm not going to play it. This is risky. 
I'm not going to play the replay. I cannot be bothered. Plus, we've got another game we've got to simulate going into the end of this episode. So we should be beating Ross County here. I don't really want to watch because if we go at the Cup, it will be a big, big blow. And then we go Rashford putting us up 1-0, which is a good start. I like that start. The, the, the question is, can we keep it going like that? I think I'm going deaf in my left ear. There's something happening in my left ear. I don't like this. But half-time, 1-0. I'm just going to sim. There we go. He and actually got a second. And we won 2-0. We're just about to wrap up this episode, guys. You know what to do if you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, press the like button. Hit subscribe, you know, keep the growth going. We're now on 1.1k. I'm very happy with all the channels going. Thank you all so much, guys. Uh, we're just going to play this game against Inverness. And there we go, a 2-1 win. We continue to run away with the league title. Sinclair grabbing two goals there, as you've seen. Good to see him get some goals. But we are running away with the league title. But what is up next? What is happening in the next episode? The last 16 of the Champions League will be played and we'll also play our next round in the Scottish Cup. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that episode. It'll be a big episode continuing the European dream. If you guys have enjoyed it, you know what to do. I said earlier. And uh, for me, Ryan Mominate, I'll see you guys next time.